What's up guys, this is a new uh, new tutorial and this time we're just gonna do a real quickie and it's gonna be about the screen sets in Logic which is really helpful um, when it comes to your workflow and stuff. So let's say you have blah 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 this many tracks and you have you want to have your mixer available easily and you want to have your loop browser open and uh, you want to have your library open and you can see now that it's really you know it's not a lot of workspace if you want to go in here and edit especially not if you have like a giant project with tons of stuff going on so what you can do is you can close all of these <clears throat> Um, and yeah, you see up here, it says number one. This means this is screen set number one. And in my case, I like to keep it like this at screen set number one, just the mixer where I can see the symbols and the faders and the inspector. That's what I like to have at screen set one. And then if you press just your number two above the, uh, the letters, not the numeric keypad but the the regular number keys you get to uh, screen set number two and here I like to keep my mixer to get the mixer window command two, <clears throat> and then you just make that big like this and you have a big mixer on number two so you can toggle between this one and this one right and now there's a window under here and I have a mild case of OCD so <laughs> that's uh, not good enough but screen set number three I like to have just a giant arrangement window with as much workspace as possible uh, for you know editing and, and such uh, screen set number four I like to have my uh, note editor midi note editor this one just close this big and on number five I like to keep my workspace as tight as possible again but also I like to use this notepad function over here so this the screen set I'll use to like listen through my track and then I'll just type in notes about uh, my mix um, you know, and then when I'm done writing up all the things that I want to fix in my mix, then I can just go back and start checking them off this list. It's really helpful. And also it's good for, for lyrics and such. If you get, uh, good ideas for, for lyrics for your track. <clears throat> and I also like to keep a number six, sorry, can't change screen set when this window is active I need to be in here uh, number six I like to keep also just um, actually I like to keep a tiny mixer like that and I don't really need to see the faders in this one so I like to just keep it small like this and uh, just have my uh, my um, plugins and stuff visible and you can drag this out and let's say I have a bunch of plugins here I'm just gonna put something on real quick like EQ you can put them down here like this or if it's your ultra beat or whatever here stuff okay so now we are left with six screen sets one this is my main works area two a big mixer looks really good and it's um, you know it's organized number three it's a big arrangement view to do some fine editing and stuff uh, 
number four, MIDI notes editor, number five, notepad, number six, plugins and such. So that's the screen sets and um, they are really neat feature to um, keep your projects organized. So I hope that was helpful and uh, don't forget to check out my homepage and uh, some of my other tutorials and thanks for watching.